are made out of meat. 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 They're made out of meat. Meat. There's no doubt about it. We took several of them from different parts of the planet and took them aboard our recon vessels and probed them all the way through. They're completely meat. That's impossible. What about the radio signals? The messages to the stars? They use the radio waves to talk, but the signals don't come from them. They come from the machines. So who made the machines? That's who we want to contact. They made the machines. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Meat made the machines. It's ridiculous. How can meat make a machine? You're asking me to believe in sentient meat. I'm not asking you. I'm telling you. These creatures are the only sentient race in this quadrant of the universe. And they're made out of meat. Maybe they're like the Ophelai. You know, a carbon-based intelligence that goes through a meat stage. Nope. They're born meat and they die meat. We've studied them for several of their lifespans, which didn't take long. Do you have any idea what the lifespan of meat is? Spare me. Maybe they're only part meat. You know, like the Wedeli. A meat head with an electron plasma brain inside. Nope. We thought of that as they do have a meat head like the Wedeli. But I told you we probed them. They're meat all the way through. No brain. Oh, there is a brain all right. It's just that the brain is made out of meat. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So what does the thinking? You're not understanding me, are you? The brain does the thinking, the meat. Thinking meat. You're asking me to believe in thinking meat. Yes, thinking meat. Conscious meat, dreaming meat, loving meat. The meat is the whole deal. Are you starting to get the picture, or do I need to start all over again? Oh my god. You're serious, then? They're made out of meat? Yes. Finally, thank you. They are indeed made out of meat. They've been trying to contact us for almost a hundred of their years. Oh my god. So what does this meat have in mind? First, it wants to talk to us. Then, I imagine, it wants to travel the universe, uh, find other sentiences, uh, trade ideas and information. The usual. We're supposed to talk to meat. Uh, that's the idea. That's what they're sending out over radio. Hello, anybody home? Anyone out there? That sort of thing. We actually do talk, then. We use words. Ideas, concepts. Yes. But they do it with meat. I thought you just said they used radio. They do, but what do you think is on the radio? Meat sounds. You know, when you flap or slap meat, it makes a noise. They talk to each other by flapping their meat. They can even sing by squirting air through their meat. It's all together too much. Would you advise? Officially or unofficially? Both. Officially, we are required to contact, welcome, and log in any and all sentient races and multi beings in this quadrant of the universe without prejudice, fear, or favor. Unofficially, I advise that we erase the records and forget about the whole thing. I was hoping you would say that. It seems harsh. But there is a limit. Do we really want to make contact with meat? I agree 100%. What is there to say? Hello, meat. How's it going? But will it work? How many planets are we dealing with here? Just one. They can travel to other planets in special meat containers, but they can't live in them. And being meat, they're limited to travel through sea space, which limits them to the speed of light and makes the chances of them ever making contact with us pretty slim. Infinitesimal, in fact. So we just pretend no one's home in the universe? That's it. Cool. You said it yourself. Who wants to meet meat? The ones who are aboard our vessels. The ones who probed. 
You're sure they won't remember? But we can sit and crack what said they do. We went into their heads and smoothed out their meat, so we're nothing but a dream to them. A dream to meet? How strangely appropriate that we should be meat's dream. We also mark the entire sector of occupied. Good. Agreed. Officially and unofficially, case closed. Any others? Anyone interesting on that side of the galaxy? Yes, uh, rather shy but sweet hydrogen core cluster intelligence in a class 9 star in the G445 zone. Um, made contact to impact rotations though, wants to be friendly again. They always come around. Why not? Imagine how intolerably, how unbearably cold the universe would be if one were all alone. <laughs>